Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl, AI the Great. And today, I'm coming at you with another great video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. My content is fragrances, fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Now let's get started. Try, try. Hello? Hey girl, are you two minutes away? Oh, perfect, I'm already dressed. I'm like sitting here waiting for you. No, seriously, I'm dressed. All I have to do is put on my fragrance of the day. Okay, so I'll see you outside in two minutes. See you soon. Being on some chill, we go zero to a hundred real quick. Maybe on that rap the Two hours later. Six hours later. Day two. Day three, day four, a few moments later. Two hours later, three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Hey guys. So in today's video, we're gonna be talking about signature scents that get attention. I've done a signature scent video before a few months ago, but those scents were more on the safe side. They were still beautiful, amazing scents, but like I said, they were a little bit safer. These signature scents are a little bit more fire and they will garner a little bit more attention. So if you're interested, then keep watching. But guys, before we get into the video, if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any of my content. Now we can get started. So the first fragrance on the list is this alluring fragrance by Bond Number no. 9, Greenwich Village. It's a fruity, long-lasting fragrance, guys. It'll put you in the mind of Baccarat Rouge by 40, but it's not a dupe, it's not a clone, it's nothing similar. You can have both in your collection, I do. If anything, it smells more similar to the extra to me than the original. So these notes are lychee, cassis, mandarin orange, peony, water lily, jasmine, ambroxan, praline, musk, vanilla, and oak moss. Super long lasting fragrance. Definitely a signature scent that'll get you compliments, that'll get you attention. Guys, you need this one in your life. Bond number nine, Greenwich Village. Now we have one of my holy grail fragrances, Sintra by Memo. Guys, if you saw my Holy Grail video, you know all about this fragrance. It's a beautiful, sweet, very sweet orange blossom, marshmallow mixture type of fragrance, and it is amazing. So let me tell you the notes. There's neroli, there's pedigrain, there's bergamot, jasmine, milk, rose, cinnamon, marshmallows, Madagascar vanilla, caramel, musk, and cedar. So guys, the pedigree in this fragrance make it a little bit green or a little bit herbally. So you're not gonna get that cloyingly sweet, love don't be shy type of orange blossom marshmallow mix. It is so beautiful. It's actually, to me, it's love don't be shy on another level because it has more depth to it. It's not just a super sweet fragrance. Although I absolutely love my love don't be shy, but this has taken a place. This is like, this has moved up. Absolutely love this. Memo Sintra, a signature scent that's definitely going to garner you so many compliments and so much attention. Now we have Draco by Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, this fragrance opens up very soft and graceful and you spray it on and you think, oh, it's such a pretty, soft, lovely fragrance. But then, guys, this turns into a beast. The dry down of this will shock you. So make sure you're prepared because I wasn't ready. I was not ready. I sprayed this on and I was like, oh, this is so soft and pretty. You know, it's just a pretty soft fragrance. And then it dried down and it just started to just like show its true colors. Seriously, a beast, beautiful, beautiful beast. So there's bergamot, lemon, orange, green notes. There's peach, 
There's jasmine, cedarwood, patchouli, magnolia, vanilla, tonka, musk, pear, and heliotrope. Guys, it's powdery, it's fruity, it's floral, it's sweet. It's an amazing fragrance, guys. Long lasting, extra day parfum, Tiziana Terenzi, so you know the quality is A1. We're definitely not skimping on quality over here. So Draco by Tiziana Terenzi. Now we have this sweet, woody, patchouli-based fragrance by Mugler Angel Au Crossier, and this is the 2020 version. Guys, this was my signature scent for about a week straight because when I got this fragrance, I received this fragrance in July. Once the store started to open up and we were coming out of quarantine and out of lockdown, my first time going to the mall, and this fragrance is the first fragrance I purchased. So this fragrance has so much meaning for the me. fragrance that brought me back into the world, in, back into society, into some type of normalcy, normalcy, you know? But it's such a beautiful fragrance. I'm an angel girl, if I haven't said it enough on this channel. I'm an angel girl and I'm an alien girl. If you smelled angel, the original angel, and the patchouli was too strong, or just, you know, the caramel, whatever it was, it just, turns you off because angel does turn a lot of people off it still has the angel dna but to me it's better and i reach for it way more so the notes are fig nectar magnolia patchouli vanilla and praline it's an edt but it's mugler so their edt still perform like eau de parfums like honestly this edt performs better than a lot of eau de parfums that i have in my collection quiet as it's kept but a beautiful fig fragrance, guys. I can wear this all year round, but it definitely shines in the spring and in the summer. But you definitely can still wear it all year round because it's thick enough and it's heavy enough that it can push through those cold winter months. So Angel Au Corsier, the 2020 version. Now we have the fragrance that actually inspired this entire video. Guys, when I smelled this fragrance, I said to myself, if I was a signature scent type of gal, this would be the scent that I want to be known for. This would be my signature scent. Guys, this fragrance was created in 1919, and this is by none other than Kriegler, and the name of this fragrance is English Promenade Number no. 19. Guys, this is such a beautiful, classy, sophisticated, timeless fragrance. I mean, guys, created in 1919, and it does not smell vintage, because I don't go for vintage fragrances. Nothing's wrong with them, but just not for me. And this fragrance right here that Audrey Hepburn used to wear as her signature scent is relevant today in 2021 and still a very beautiful and timeless fragrance. There's grapefruit, there's jasmine, there's neroli, there's orange blossom, white florals, white musk, and ylang ylang. It's an eau de parfum. It's pretty pricey. I believe it retails for $425 for 100 ml of product. But guys, it's so worth it. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Nothing that I've ever smelled. When I was on my Holy Grail list, I was actually kind of wavering back and forth between this fragrance and the fragrance that I chose, Abracadabra, from Kriegler as well. The reason why I chose Abracadabra is because it smells a little bit more special to me. It smelled like something that I would wear more for special occasions. You know, when you want to step out, show up and show out, that's the kind of fragrance that you're going to reach for, Abracadabra. This is definitely a step up, show out, you know, all the things type of fragrance as well. But it's amazing because you can also wear it as a signature scent. It's beautiful, but it's not too special that you can't wear it every day. You know what I mean? But still a very beautiful, elegant, sophisticated, classy, timeless fragrance guys did i say that audrey hepburn wore this yes audrey hepburn give me all type of vintage vibes but in a timeless style kriegler's english promenade now we have one of my favorite fragrances from joe malone wood sage and sea salt guys this is a beautiful signature scent it smells salty it smells reminiscent to me like a warm sea breeze like a fresh clean sea breeze this is my fresh scent but it's not like a laundry fresh scent. It's a sea breeze type of fresh scent. The notes are amber seeds, sea salt, and sage. And there's also fig in this fragrance as well. It's sweet, it's fresh, it's clean, but it's elevated. You know, this is not like just your regular clean fresh scent. It smells so, so good. Guys, you can purchase the shower gel, you can purchase the body cream, you can purchase uh, the hand cream, you can purchase the bar soap. Wood Sage and Sea Salt is a beautiful, beautiful scent, guys. Definitely a signature scent that's going to garner lots and lots of attention. Now we have this Vicanto fragrance, Temptatio. Guys, the nose behind this fragrance is none other than Paolo Terenzi. Obviously, the same nose behind Tiziana Terenzi. Guys, this is an extra day parfum, 
full, full quality, quality fragrance. Some of the notes, there's lemon, there's orange, there's Bulgarian rose, there is iris, there's cinnamon, there's raspberry, there's passion fruit, there's sandalwood, there's vanilla. This is a very fresh, effervescent, and tempting fragrance. The name, Temptatio, like seriously, it's very tempting. The main accords, it's musky, fruity, powdery, spicy, vanilla, and tropical. Now, if I had to say this reminded me of something, if you guys have ever smelled to bits by Tiziana Torrenti, definitely louder. This is a softer, fresher, smoother, but when I say soft, this is a beast. This is very long lasting. This has no performance issues. This is an extra day parfum, like I said, so you're getting the full perfume oil concentration, but it's just that to bit may smell like it has a little bit of oud in it because it has it's more woody. This is a little bit more fresh. It's a little softer. It's a little bit more elegant, but it's still very, very loud. So super long lasting. People will smell it on you. It's definitely a signature scent that will get you so much attention. Guys, this fragrance retails for $435 on SoAvantGarde.com, but you can use my 20% discount code, the great 20 to save 20% on this fragrance. Tempting, alluring, sexy, definitely a signature scent that's gonna get you a lot of attention. Now we have one of my favorite rose and patchouli combinations, Gris Dior by Maison Christian Dior. Guys, this is a beautiful, elegant, wealthy, rich smelling fragrance right here. So the notes are bergamot, rose, patchouli, jasmine, cedar, amber, sandalwood, and woody moss. Guys, it's a woody fragrance. There's patchouli in it. You do smell the patchouli. So if you don't like patchouli, I'm not sure you're gonna really like this one because the patchouli is strong in this fragrance. But there's also the rose. It's fresh, it's clean smelling, but it's still elevated. You know, it doesn't smell like clean laundry type of fragrance, but it's definitely a fresh type of fragrance that you can wear every single day. A beautiful signature scent that will garner lots and lots of attention. Guys, these fragrances did not come to play. So now we have X by Clive Christian. If you've ever smelled Gucci Rush, guys, this is the elevated version of Gucci Rush. I absolutely used to love Gucci Rush. I still do because I still have my little bottle tucked away somewhere in the corner. But when I got X, it was like Gucci Rush who? This is definitely reminiscent of Gucci Rush, but to me, it's more elevated. I smell the richness in this fragrance. So there's bergamot, there's ivy, there's mandarin, peach, rhubarb, iris, jasmine, lily of the valley, rose, narcissus, there's tuberose, there's patchouli, there's rum, vanilla, sandalwood, and cashmere. Guys, this fragrance has so many layers to it. So many layers. Let me see if I can find. It's so good guys clive christian x definitely a signature scent that you want to be known for you're going to get so many compliments so much attention guys it smells rich it smells wealthy it smells different it's not a linear scent it changes on my skin like at some points i smell the patchouli i smell the rose i smell the tuberose i smell the rum now as far as performance the performance isn't excellent it's decent it's more moderate but I wish it was a little bit better. You know what I mean? Like I'm getting five hours on my skin of it'll this. It'll stay fragrance. on your clothes. Obviously it'll last on your clothes, but on my skin, I'm only getting about five hours. So that's the little downside, but it smells so good guys. And I mean, you can say that, well, why would you have this? You can have Gucci Rush. But like I said, my nose detects the differences between Gucci Rush and this fragrance. I own Gucci Rush, so I have both fragrances and I've done the test of Clive Christian X and Gucci Rush, and I definitely smell the layers of this fragrance right here. It's so many layers to this fragrance, and it is amazing. So I choose to have it in my collection as well. And if you're looking for a signature scent that's fire and it's gonna garner attention and compliments, then you need to have this too, Clive Christian X. So last but not least, we have the original For Her by Narciso Rodriguez. Guys, I feel like it's not a list if I don't have a Narciso Rodriguez fragrance on the list because I love Narciso Rodriguez fragrances, if you cannot tell. The performance is amazing, they last long, they garner so many compliments and attention, guys. Just trust me, okay? Just trust me on this one. So the notes are rose, peach, musk, orange blossom, osmanthus, vetiver, amber, and vanilla. Definitely one of the more affordable fragrances on this list, so you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars on a fragrance that's gonna get you attention and compliments because Narciso Rodriguez, guys, I'm telling you, his fragrances are amazing. They last so long on my skin. 
The performance is amazing. The sillage, the scent trail. Musk, the way that he does musk is so clean and fresh. Nothing that smells like feces, nothing that smells animalic, like what musk tends to smell like in a lot of fragrances. Not with Narciso Rodriguez, whether it's synthetic or not, guys. This is an amazing signature scent that will garner lots and lots of attention and compliments. Narciso for her. All right, guys, so we've come to the end of the video. Leave me some comments below and let me know what are some of your signature scents or some signature scents that you can suggest that will garner attention and compliments. Let's talk about it like we always do, guys. Remember to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.